Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn numerical solution of partial differential equations using finite difference method. Now, we will find second order approximation of u with respect to x. That is dou to u by dou x square. So, second order approximation can be written as first order approximation in this two value minus first order approximation in these two values. That is first order forward difference approximation minus first order backward difference divided by step size in x direction that is h. So let us put values of dou u by dou x by forward difference and dou u by dou x by backward difference. And if we simplify then we will get dou to u by dou x square as u i plus 1 j minus 2 u i j plus u i minus 1 j divided by h square means dou to u by dou x square is equal to u i plus 1 j minus 2 u i j plus u i minus 1 j divided by h square. So this is the second order approximation of u with respect to x. Similarly, we can write second order approximation of u in y direction. So here we can write dou to u by dou y square as u i j plus 1 minus 2 u i j plus u i j minus 1 divided by square of state size in y direction that is k square. So this is the second order approximation of u with respect to y. So based on this finite difference approximation, we have to write the formulas for different types of partial differential equations. Let us take Laplace equation. So this equation is called Laplace equation. So here dou to u by dou x square means second order approximation of u with respect to x and dou to u by dou y square means second order approximation of u with respect to y. So just now we have seen how to discretize this. So let us consider this figure. We can write second order approximation in x direction as u i plus 1 j minus 2 u i j plus u i minus 1 j divided by h square which is written here plus dou 2 u by dou y square can be written as u i j plus 1 minus plus u i j minus 1 divided by k square which is written here and this is equal to 0. So this is equal to 0. Now here for h is equal to k we can write this as like this. So here this minus 2 u i j and minus 2 u i j will be minus 4 u i j and as h is equal to k we can write divided by h square. So if I take h square on this side 0 and h square will become 0. Now we can take u i j on one side and all other terms on another side. So if I simplify then I will get u i j is equal to 1 by 4 into bracket u i plus 1 j plus u i minus 1 j plus u i j plus 1 plus u i j minus 1 means this u i j value that is central value is equal to 1 by 4 into bracket this u i plus 1 j plus u i minus 1 j plus u i j plus 1 plus u i j minus 1 that means to calculate this central value we have to take average of these four boundary values. So this is the formula for Laplace equation. So let us solve one problem based on Laplace equation. So example is like this. Solve dou to u by dou x square plus dou to u by dou y square is equal to 0 for boundary values as shown in figure. So in this figure, boundary values are given and we have to find out values of u1, u2, u3, u4 that is intermediate values. And distribution of u values is governed by this Laplace equation. So we have seen this is the formula for Laplace equation. So from this figure that is central value of u is equal to addition of these four values divided by 4. Now here there are four unknowns. So we can write this formula for, for these four unknowns. So let us write for u1. So this u1 is equal to 1 by 4 into bracket u2 plus 1 plus 1 plus u3 that is addition of these four values divided by 4. Similarly we can write formula for u2. u2 is equal to addition of these four values divided by 4 which is written here. Similarly we can write for u3. So u3 is equal to 1 by 4 into bracket u4 plus 2 plus u1 plus 4 that is to calculate value of u3 we have to add these four values divided by 4. Similarly, we can write for u4. 
So u4 is equal to 1 by 4 into bracket this 5 plus u3 plus u2 plus 5 means addition of these 4 values divided by 4 which is written here. So in this way we will get 4 equations and 4 unknown. So we can solve these equations simultaneously. There are different numerical methods to find solution of linear simultaneous equations like Gauss elimination method, Gauss serial method, Jacobi iteration method etc. So here we will use Gauss serial method to solve these equations simultaneously. So in case of Gauss serial method we know from first equation we are writing equation u1 is equal to from second equation we are writing u2 is equal to from third equation we are writing u3 is equal to and from fourth equation we are writing equation as u4 is equal to. Now here we have already got these equations. So it is easy to solve by using Gauss serial method. Also, in case of Gauss method, we require to rearrange the equations in diagonal dominant form. But here, for first equation, coefficient of u1 is 4 and coefficient of other term is 1. In second equation, coefficient of u2 is 4 and coefficient of other terms is 1. In third equation, coefficient of u3 is 4 and coefficient of other terms is 1. And in fourth equation, coefficient of u4 is 4 and coefficient of other terms is 1. So we can say these equations are already diagonal dominant equations. So it is better to solve by using Gauss-Serial method. But it is not compulsory to use only Gauss-Serial method. We can solve by using Gauss elimination method also. So in case of Gauss-Serial method, for first iteration we are taking initial values as 0. To calculate next upcoming value of u1, we have to use equation number 1. And in this equation, we will use u2 is equal to 0 and u3 is equal to 0. So if we put u2 is equal to 0 and u3 is equal to 0, we will get u1 is equal to 0 0.5. Similarly, to calculate value of u2, we have to use the second equation. In second equation, we need the value of u1 and u4. So here we have to use the latest values of u1 and u4. So latest value of u1 is 0 0.5 and value of u4 is 0. And if we calculate this, then we will get u2 is equal to 1.625. Similarly, to calculate value of u3, we have to use the third equation. Now here we need value of u1 and u4. So updated value of u1 is 0.5 and updated value of u4 is 0. So by putting these values in equation number 3, we will get u3 is equal to 1.625. Similarly, to calculate u4, we have to use equation number 4. So in equation number 4, we need values of u2 and u3. So here also we have to use updated values or latest values for u2 and u3. So here latest value of u2 is 1.625 and latest value of u3 is also equal to 1.625. So by putting these values in equation number 4, we will get u4 is equal to 3.3125. So in this way, we have to use latest values in these equations and we can find the next approximate values. Now we will go for iteration number 2. So these are the values of u which are calculated in iteration number 1. Now, this is equation number 1. So in this equation, if we put u2 is equal to 1.625 and u3 is equal to 1.625, then we will get u1 is equal to 1.3125. Now, to calculate next approximate value of u2, we have to use equation number 2. So this is equation number 2. And in this equation, we have to put latest value of u1 and u4. So latest value of u1 is just now we have calculated that is 1.3125 and u4 is yet to calculated for iteration number 2. So latest value of u4 is previous iteration value that is 3.3125. So by putting these values we will get u2 is equal to 2.6562. Similarly to calculate value of u3 we have to use u1 and u4. So updated value of u1 is which is calculated here that is 1.3125 and latest value of u4 is 3.3125. So by putting these values in equation number 3, we will get u3 is equal to 2.6562. Similarly, to calculate value of u4, we need latest values of u2 and u3. Latest value of u2 is calculated here, that is 2.6562 and latest value of u3 is also 2.6562. So we can put these values in equation number 4. So this is equation number 4 and if you put these values then we will get u4 is equal to 3.8281.
So this is the iteration number two of Gauss-Riddle method. Now we will write answers in tabulated form. So let us prepare table. So in table we will take iteration number, then values of u1, then values of u2, values of u3, values of u4, and maximum error. So these are the values of u1, u2, u3, u4, which we have got in first iteration. And by using these formulas, we have got these values of u1, u2, u3, u4 in second iteration. So after second iteration, we can calculate the relative error. So formula for relative error is absolute value of this. That is mod of u new value minus u old value divided by u new value. Means for u1, Relative error is 1.3125 that is new value of u minus old value of u is 0 0.5 divided by new value that is 1.3125 and it's mod. Similarly, relative error in u2 value is this new value minus old value divided by new value that is 2.6562 minus 1.6250 divided by 2.6562 and it's mod. Similarly, Relative error in U3 is this value minus this value divided by this value and it's mod. Similarly for U4, this minus this divided by this. So in this way, we will get four errors. So out of these four errors, we have to consider the maximum error. So out of these four errors, maximum error is 0 0.6190. So in this way, we can calculate relative errors after each iteration. Now in given problem, nothing is given about the accuracy required. So we can assume suitable accuracy. So let us consider that we need answer accurate up to two decimal places. So here we need to do the iterations till maximum error is not less than given accuracy or assumed accuracy. So again we can use these formulas and we can use the updated values. Then we will get these values after third iteration. And this is the maximum error. Similarly for fourth iteration, we will get maximum error at 0 0.0659. Then after fifth iteration, we will get maximum error at 0 0.0162. Then after sixth iteration, we will get maximum error at 0 0.004. Then after seventh iteration, we will get maximum error at 0 0.001. So in this way, as we go on doing iterations, maximum error will reduce. Then after eighth iteration, we will get maximum error as 0 0.0003. Now here, if we need accuracy up to two decimal places, then we have to repeat the iterations till this maximum error is not less than 0 0.01. So here, after eighth iteration, this maximum error is less than 0 0.001. So we can say this answer is accurate up to two decimal places. But here we can see value of u1 is approaching towards 2 value of u2 is approaching towards 3, value of u3 is also approaching towards 3. So we will do one more iteration. So if we perform ninth iteration, then we will get u1 is equal to 2, u2 is equal to 3, u3 is also 3, and u4 is equal to 4. So in given figure, here it was u1, then u2, u3, and u4. So we can put respective values. So final solution values of u1 is 2, u2 is 3, u3 is 3 and u4 is equal to 4. So in this way, we can solve any problems based on Laplace equation by using finite difference method. Thank you for watching.